Well, this is National Boating Safety Week, and you know for many of us, the start of summer means more time out here, out on the water. But while many of you will be boating, tubing, or fishing, one very special group of college students will be standing by just in case you need help. When the call comes in, rescue five seconds, sorry. the call goes out. And that prescribed response time is five minutes. And these rescuers are on the water and on the move. We have a high standard of performance. Students at Eckerd College's search and rescue program at the southern tip of St. Pete, responding to rescue calls on Tampa Bay and in the Gulf. One of you on the bow line and one of you on the stern line. Clear. Today, they train for tomorrow's marine emergency. <laughs> They're rescuing a swimmer and learning how to ride a boat, something that's much harder than it looks. And all this is not even a degree program. Snap. These students answer this call purely for extra credit and volunteer hours. Ryan Dilke is their instructor. It says a lot for the students. Yes, the, uh, the type of student that gravitates towards this is predominantly one that wants to be a part of something bigger than themselves. Students like Rasheen Burke, who came from Connecticut. Well, this is not your typical extra credit class. No, not at all. Yeah, I'm a business management major, so this is far from what I'm doing in classes, um, but it's awesome. And Steve Weekman, all the way from Minneapolis. It's really good to see a bunch of college students being able to make a difference. And there's nothing else like it in the country. The only marine rescue program at any college or university in the nation. And they stay busy. Last year we did 618 calls. We helped over 800 people and rescued $6.2 million in property. Got to be proud of that. That's We're pretty proud of that one. But they may be proudest of their graduates. They've had a number of high-profile rescues, an emotional night finding the baby thrown off the skyway, rescuing an elderly couple and their dogs in high seas, putting out boat fires, even recovering an airplane. Life-saving, life-changing experiences for the rescued and the rescuers. My first case was a missing people search, um, and that was kind of when I first realized that we're doing real stuff to help people. Such an effect, it's altered many of their career paths. Several have gone on to careers in law enforcement or emergency management. Many graduates end up in the military. Quite a few end up joining the Coast Guard. As for Steve... Uh, I'm looking into going into Coast Guard right now, actually, which is something I had also never considered until I came onto the team. And their instructor? Also now a member of the Coast Guard Reserve. And all because of this program? Yes, absolutely. Dilke enrolled as a student 24 years ago, like the others, just looking for some adventure. And I loved it so much, I just stayed with it, became an instructor, and then took over the program in 2006, and I've been here ever since. You found your home? I did indeed. An open-air classroom with a school bell that rings a higher calling. Now, Eckerd's XR team serves a three-county region, Pinellas, Hillsboro, and Manatee, which, of course, is a big area. They cover 600 square nautical miles, but perhaps most impressive here, they have a team of students remaining on standby 24 hours a day so they can be geared up and out on the water in just a matter of five minutes. And that's